Hey everyone, today I want to show you how to group columns in Excel. It's something that can be really useful if you have a lot of data and you're trying to get your reader or user to focus on certain things. And so we're just going to go through and I'm going to show you how to easily do that. A couple ways you can go about it. Obviously you can select some rows. So let's say I have these columns here, just have some sales data and I just want to hide, you know, columns E through G. I just want to focus on the profit there. You can right click and you can hide, which is great, super easy. But then in order to see that data later, you have to unhide it. So something else that you can do if you're wanting to be able to expand and contract your data sets and easily review data is that you can select your data here, select the columns. And what you want to do is click on data and you can group it. It's called grouping the data. So what's going to happen is it can consolidate it, but it's going to give us an option to expand it easily. So all we need to do is again, click on the data tab, go over to group, click on group. And so you can see it, it creates this line here and these dots highlight which of our columns are those columns that we're going to be able to group. And essentially what you do when you group it is you're able to hide it. So those columns now are hidden and we can just focus on that profit column. We can get rid of it. But let's say, you know, we're getting questions about that, our cost of goods sold, maybe our gross sales. We can easily click on the plus button here and it's going to pop that back out. And we're going to be able to go and review that as well very easily. So it is it's extremely useful and good to know. And it's something that can make your Excel spreadsheets much easier to review. So something to note, you know, obviously whatever columns you group, it's going to link to the adjacent cell there. So you should be good to, to group your cells as easy as that. Let's say you do want to ungroup it though. What you can do is you can just highlight those cells, go to ungroup, and then just select ungroup and it's gone. So you don't have to worry about the group or ungroup anymore. It's it's just kind of as is, as it was. And so again, very easy to do, very useful to do as you're navigating some of these uh, challenges with Excel. But hopefully this is helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions about this or if I can provide any additional content or information around it. And uh, remember to like and subscribe to the Excel guy. Thanks and have a great day.